map of madness, I have to say. Both teams letting loose, getting it going. Fnatic, I have to say, didn't really show up other than the first couple of rounds. And, and moving forward from that, I think Big showing up here, looking real solid on an individual level, getting the confidence up, heading into the later events. Obviously, no progression in this tournament other than finding out who is going to be fifth and who will come in sixth place and currently Big ahead. That they are. And heading into Mirage, as the desk was pointing out, this is another map where they can play somewhat similar, right? With that loose play, we're expecting to see the same sort of play from Keto. And, well, we're already getting a good start for Big. Trades at top mid successful for them. Flash a dink down as well. Big with the man advantage and a good bit of damage done. A lot of damage being inflicted at the start of this round. Brawling with the burst headshot. Keto. Rolling Victor, but Altaris Altaris trying to get involved into the midst of the, the smoke. smoke. That might not be the fight he was hoping for. Having to fall back now, and finally Golden peeks out wide to take him out of contention. Tabson trying to do what he can, but Golden's got another one. So Fnatic have turned this on their head. Big unable to really group up, unable to trade. Now Tizian's going to try and run it back to A. Right now, Tizian trying to come through the ramp. He's got the Glock in his hands. Now one versus three brawling around the backside. Tizian not looking the right way. And it's Fnatic with the pistol pickup into the lead by one round. And they need to get off to a good start here. They need to get that confidence going. They didn't really get going at all over on Inferno. And now in this one, finally off to a good start. But the four spice was something we like to talk about over on Inferno, Alex. And here on Mirage, it looks like we're going to get more of the same. Big coming out, not exactly a strong four spice. You know, when you get that bomb down, you can get the Galils, the AKs out. But now it is... A good mixture of P250s, a scout, and MAC-10 in play here for Big. Roland goes straight for that org as well, which has been a bit of a hot topic recently in the pro scene. More and more pros seem to be using that scoped rifle on the CT side. That's a good bit of damage from Flasher, and it softens up the first man for an easier kill. He's still alone on B, though, and Big are already pushing this B side. I know. The pressure on, and it's the P250. Not getting a whole lot done there. Brolin with the double kill, though, on the Yogg. That's exactly what you want to see out of Fnatic. And now Tizian and Tabson oh. trying to do what they can, do their best. As Tizian looks to dive up on top, going for the jump shot. I love the confident peaks coming out here. A big has pulled it back into a doable scenario, but Crimson Brolin swinging out through. Brolin finishes the round with uh, the MP9 there, Alex. Gets the money up, and 2-0 for Fnatic. Since Brolin arriving with that orb we were talking about. You see a lot of pros just not bothering to use the scope with it. Just going unscoped, making sure you keep that high rate of fire. Making sure you can land those shots more easily. Got to see Brolin get that orb back into his hands as well. After taking the MP9 at the end of the previous, as he so rightly said. Ooh, JW doing some early damage. Smoked down. He spotted some players in Palace, but there really isn't much worth talking about on the big side in this one. They've got a couple of deeds, and that is it. Thompson in middle, Golden catching him off. And we'll be Fnatic with the one-man advantage at the start of this one. Now Zantara's walking up with the Deagle, looking to peek down Khan. Golden holding at the top from behind triple. He's got the M4 in play. Golden with the second headshot as well. Crim sweeping on by and Fnatic taking this round easily. That's what you want to see out of them. Clean and clinical rounds. Three kills for Golden, two from Crims. And no madness, no shenanigans at the start of this one, Alex, with the back and forth buys. A much more standard start to the proceedings, which I think is good, Dinko. We had a, a bit too much craziness in that first map. We can get a more standard start to this one. I'm not going to complain about that. We're going to get the AWP out into the hands of Searson. He has had to sacrifice that helmet. He's just got the Kevlar here, making sure he focuses on the smoke and the flash instead. So he is susceptible to those one shots from the M4s, but Searson is hungry for blood, as is JW. Pushed with the MP9, but Xantares is ready for it. And Searson nearly getting this angle, but still not finding the fight he's looking for. Pearson hits the shot on the cross. Goes back to the window. And Keto holding for the aggressive ramp peak. It's brawling in with one. That's six kills added to his tally. And right now we're looking at what seems to be a fantastic start to the round from Big with that second kill from Tabson, allowing 
Big into the advantage and Seriously with the kill off short as well. Fnatic trying their best to draw back into this one, but it isn't happening. Big are fighting back. They're coming out on top. And now it is Golden and Brolin. And a two versus three. The headshot from Tizian's good. And now just Brolin left alone in a 1v3. There's not much he can hope to do here. He's on the other side of the map. And big, they still have a player in middle. Santaris has just crossed out and Brolin hasn't seen it. Walking back, Santaris ready for the kill. And it's big with their first on the board. This round was much more like what we saw on Inferno. It fights all over the map. It really, again, just seems to come down to Big being able to spread themselves across the map and still win the majority of the fights. And then once they get into an advantageous position, there's not that much more that they have to do. They can just group up, push a site together, and that's where they're finding a lot of their success. Now, JW has the AWP here on the CT side, and he's already got the first kill with it. That smoke at window not going according to plan. It gets blocked. And JW's still looking for more fights. Flusher holding the cross, Tizian with the headshot. And that is lightning fast indeed. Flusher is falling victim to it. And now Golden has gone up through the underpass. Up to the right side is tapped and caught with a bomb. The peak is perfect from Golden. He nearly gets the double kill, but luckily Big are able to pull one back. And Tizian's position could be everything to secure this round for Big. Already in the market, but Santara's tried to pull utility and he's just going to get shut down by the AWP because of that. Can't be hung around that window too long there, Santara's. And now Kido left in a one versus three clutch, Alex. To Molotov, but he doesn't have the chance to use it. JW arriving onto the server with the AWP. His first three kills help his team win their next round. And yeah, getting that first kill at mid, definitely nice. Rotating over to B. Not many nades left for Big at this point, which is why he's able to just get a couple of easier kills. A bit surprised that Xantares isn't aware of that possibility because Tizium should have been calling that Kitchen is quite a likely position. And I feel like Big could have done a bit better at syncing that up at maybe communicating that over. But it doesn't work out for them that time. And now Big are forced back down to the leagues. Some weaker weapons in play for bigs, but certainly some strong individuals that can make something work when it comes to these deagles. Tabs are already out in middle. In behind the smoke. All it's off in behind that smoke as well, flushing out under pressure. Smoke goes down into the site. And you'll hide behind the bench. Tabs and walk it up now. Brawling as well behind triple. Peaks down into connector, but it's Santaris with the headshot brawling out of that. And these pistols look like they had a chance of doing something, but Golden has just handed them a disaster. And now Crims alongside JW looking to hold down this A bomb site. Tabston somehow gets away with his life there. I thought JW was almost surely going to take that bomb down. But Big still with this chance. They've got that B bomb site control. Keto up in the window. And the bomb's coming all the way back. If the bomb goes down in the connector there, Alex, that's the round done for big. But they still got a chance here. Flusher walking into jungle. Keto just lets him walk on by. And now it's an M4. Bomb has been oh, JW arriving just at the right time to take out the man who had just planted the bomb. Tizian's playing up close though, and JW isn't aware of it. Nice angle from Tizian, an unexpected position from JW's perspective. And it's up to Crims to try and keep his team in control of this game. AK in hand, there's not much money in the bank for Fnatic, so it could be great for him to win this round. And it's planted safe. The bomb's planted safe, and Keto's so far away. Shots landed, but Crims can lock this in. He's on the defuse. Keto trying to close the distance. The shots will land in time. Keto wins the round for big, and Fnatic's money is broken. Fnatic. I, it was looking like they had done enough. For those two kills coming in, the shutdown setup on the A bomb site, if JW finds that kill on Taps and in the connector, which was almost looking like it was a sure thing, that smoke came up, kind of blocked his crosshair out a little bit. And because of that, Taps and gets away. They already had good positions for Big already into that round. So, fantastic stuff for Big. And you see Fnatic are forced down to a real weak buy. They're not going to be going for the eco, of course not. But Famas pulled out, PZ on JW, a deagle for Golden, a scout in the hands of Flusher. And Zantaris is down to 30 HP. Follow up near this wall, 27 on the board. Tizian finally drawing first blood, but it's answered back by Golden. And this mid fight could get a little bit messy for Taps. Can multiple players running down. 
Crimson brawling, getting kills, and suddenly it's Fnatic with the man advantage. Bit of information gathered from Golden. He spots the man in the apartment. Keto moving on to the site to try and shake things up, to try and catch them off guard. And Xantares is traded, but now they might think Keto is still in those apartments. He's on the site. He's made the sneaky play. Smokes to the bomb, but Keto is still just biding his time, waiting for that B-fuse. And now Keto, they're looking at the apartment still. Keto from behind with the double spray. That reposition was so well done, Dinko. Yeah, that's huge from Keto, getting into a good spot. Another impactful play from Keto. Just, he's everywhere they're not expecting him to be. You can see both looking up at the apartments, trying to figure out what's going on, and Keto lines them up. Two kills collected and a round for big that they desperately needed to win. Now it will be the full eco pretty much here for Fnatic. There was, of course, a little bit of investment in terms of that deagle, the HG grenade in the hands of Flush Up and a Zeus for JW, but this round surely going to be locked in for big, especially because they're leaning in towards the B bomb site early. Fnatic currently with the stack on the A bomb site, and big going to the other side of the map. So that's any chance of damage pretty much gone here. Just flashing back to that last round, anytime you're in a 1v2 and you get to spray two players in the back who aren't even at looking at you, you've clearly done something right there. Really nice move from Keto, and now Big have a freebie bomb site. As you said, this will be an easy round for them. So another topsy turvy start to the game. Citizen warming up with some shots in at mid. These USPs proving to be a small challenge, one that Citizen will certainly overcome, and they're just feeding him right now, Dinko. This could be one of the easiest aces Citizen will ever get. Probably get stolen away from him though. Let's be real. Yeah, this most likely scenario. Zantaras looks to be the thief. Flush up, throwing the HE up on top, and Zantaras secures the kill. 4 4, tied up on the scoreboard. Fnatic, I feel like this was kind of a similar story to Inferno, where they definitely showed a lot of potential in the start on Inferno, but it's when the individual started popping off and getting these clutch moments, getting these rounds where you get multi kills, the likes of Sirius and where things started to get a little scary for Fnatic. Obviously, nothing was really expected from that last round, but. It's just the kind of rounds where you let one individual get four kills, you let them show up and shut you down Ooh, completely. It's a lot of confidence going. Look at this big B fake. Three smokes onto the B site. The bomb's back at the apartments. The Tizian's gonna fake B. He goes down early. Has he drawn enough of a rotation though? Because the bomb is arriving on the A site. They threw three smokes over to B, but Brolan has stuck around at A and Keto's not ready. Oh no, easy kill for Brolan. Oh! Make it a second. Great play from Brolan and Big have so much to do. Yeah, that second swing for Brolan's huge. Just can't deny the bomb plant. A third kill for Brolan. And that's why you don't rotate until you've seen the bomb fully. You still playing that A anchor position back behind Ticket, getting the job done for Fnatic. Brolin, what a hero. The only player left anywhere near that A bomb site, Alex, and Brolin just swings out, takes down two players, and a third to secure the round as well for Fnatic. This is brilliant. You can see Keto was completely unaware that Brolin would still be tucked in that corner. He thought that would have been enough of a fake for Big. And that to me signals that Big are used to that working out that way, right? They're used to that set piece playing out with everybody just rotating, but it didn't work out today. Brolin just sits back and take it, and Keto not ready for it. I think something that's really cool about this decider game, Digko, is I think we are seeing both of these teams kind of try a couple of, of newer things, maybe. I, I know that is a strat that I've seen teams do before, but I, I think Big are a team that uh, definitely have the nades to try some of these cool strats. Oh, JW, very close on that flick shot onto the jumping player. Won't get the kill this time round. But yeah, they threw smokes from T spawn there all the way to B. I think it's Carrigan who I first saw do that smoke. He's definitely one of the masters of utility, but JW is not having fun this time. The utility goes against him. Crims gets one kill back, but it's big with the early lead. Keto, look at get through. Well, the smoke. Crims is down to 40. And a man advantage locked in for big right now, but Crims looks to be that player to pull it back. Looking for the head over the top of the smoke, and Keto might just provide. Oh, he spotted him. Crims on the jump, sees Keto on the stairs, and he'll spam through the smoke for the equalizing kill. 
Uh, where can they go with this one? Houston wanted to go for the big flank, but he's come right back around spawn. The kill for some towers. Golden fighting back for Fnatic. And now both players, both remaining players for big are standing on the A ramp. Flash to allow Tabson to peek out on towards the bomb side as well. Sirius will throw that up, but now Tabson swings on by. Perfect flash by. First player is blinded. The kill comes through, and Sirius secures the final. Golden falling by the wayside. And another fantastic post play, I have to say that, from Searson. He was the player that cancelled that flank around middle, decides to come back through spawn, and he plays it perfectly with Tabson at the end of the round. And we haven't seen quite as many of those flash assists from Big at the start of this map, but that's around where we get to see it. Little time left on the bomb, one flash over the top, well placed, make sure that Tabson can get that first kill and basically guarantees the round win at that point. Searson knows he's going to win that 1v1 with such little time left on the bomb. It's a great work from Big. I think Flair pointed out it was 14 flash assists for Big on that first map. It was something ridiculous. Flasher trying to fight, but Tizian just keeps on winning these fights at B. Finally, Golden trades him, and Keto is also low on health with the bomb in B apartments. So oh, time to bail, buddy. Get out of there. His teammates are helping him from short, though, so they're still going to try and make the move onto B. Sun Towers with the kill on GW, but pulls the utility just as Golden comes around the corner. And you see the panic, I'm sure, on Sun Towers there, but Golden caught awkwardly will still take another kill. That's three on the hold. And now Tapson and Searson trying their best to pull this round back. Still a full minute left, and they have pulled that kill all to Crims. They know Golden is still around here somewhere, they know that they've got him pinned. He's still done so much and can do even more, but Tabson finally shuts him out of the round, and it's all on Brawler. 100 HP, but it doesn't matter, and somehow, Big have pulled the round back in their favor. That was looking so good for Fnatic. It looked like Golden had done everything. The initial kill, the repositioning, catching us on Taras, and the third kill, although Awkward still comes out on top, but I don't know how they've done this. Especially because Golden drops that bomb in the apartments, right? That looked like it was going to get really awkward for Big to try and get that bomb back. But Fnatic fight for the site and they give the fights to Big who end up taking them. Fnatic with an early timeout. For the first time T Tabson and Tizian played against Crims, they 16 won him. That's not a bad stat to have on your record. I mean, the fun fact thing there said time for revenge. It's not looking like it's going to go that way right now, though. <laughs> Fnatic are struggling. Well, and that's really... even with Golden and Brolin having really good games. Yeah, that, that's the sad thing, right? I, I, I feel like over on Inferno, a couple of the individuals didn't really show up. I think Crims had an incredibly slow start to the game. We didn't really see a whole lot of production out of Flush and JW. Uh, Brolin was kind of the only player doing a whole lot for them. He still continued that into Mirage and Golden having a fantastic performance on the defensive side as well, but it's not enough. Fnatic still behind, still trailing away. And Big starting to ramp it up. I feel like they're getting better and better in these rounds. And Crimson behind with a P250. Tizian, he's about to cross over. And this P250 should be getting a kill. Tizian has no idea what's about to happen to him. Crimson comes around the corner, rattles away, pulls out the AK. And that's a little bit more to play with for Fnatic. Flusher has also found a kill on the pistol. Prince of this AK will try his best, but very awkward position to be stuck in. Itchy lands, but it doesn't do a whole lot. On to Keto and Santaras. Tamsin taking that kill. That's probably the chances of the round win gone up until this point. With Crimson up another, Brawlin has picked up one. And suddenly, it's all on Tapson. A one versus two back from short. Crimson trying to take the duel. The bomb is planted for him in the late round, and they have to get on it. There's no kit, and this might just be all she wrote for Fnatic in this round. Tabson with another clutch. Three kills collected for him, and big seven to five. Well worked by Tabson at the end here. First getting this initial kill onto Short and then just making sure that he stays on top of these fights. Pulls out the nade for the close range angle. At that point, he'd drawn the player so far away from the bomb that he figured he'd probably won the round already. But it did rely on Tabson coming back into that. 
And Tizian's actually down to a Deeg in this round. Pearson could have dropped him, but again, Tizian's happy to just go with the Deagle. Big's economy isn't great, so that's probably part of the reason. Pearson wants to keep his money strong because he's loving this orc right now. He's got another early kill, this time onto Crims, but Brolan instantly bounces back for Fnatic. He's going to be put under pressure, though. Yeah, Brolin around the corner. Tizian will jump on through. It's one kill from Santara as Brolin hitting the deck. And now JW, Golden, and Flusher will try their best to do something in this round for Fnatic. But all of these clutch situations have come through for Big so far. JW with the headshot has drawn the man advantage in favor of Fnatic and Tapson. He's going to have to try and do a, or should I say, Tizian up on top of the triple box. Couldn't quite see his. That was a little bit play in my end, but nonetheless, fighting back. JW with the spam kill. Low HP from the risky position, and Zantara is having to win the 1v2. He's collected out the first kill onto JW, and Flusher repositioning, hoping he can hold that bomb. That bomb's on the box. Santares might have to jump up to get it. It doesn't matter either way because Flush is watching. Oh, Santares, he knows he's trying to bait out this shot, but Flusher isn't biting. And Santares still doesn't know exactly where he is. Oh, good effort from uh. Santares. It's just such a hard fight there with Flusher holding the bomb. You can't really blame Santares, but unfortunately for Big, their money is in trouble. We were talking about it earlier. And Fnatic finally stabilizing here. And again, Golden and Brolan just individually having really good games. I think Brolan was pretty good on the first map as well. We're definitely seeing his individual level shine in this one. But Big have had to go for a force buy, which is subpar, I think is the nice way of putting it. They've only got a single primary weapon, and that's one Mac 10. Yeah, not the most ideal situation to be in right now for that. It's certainly favorites, and they will take that Mac 10 away. Brolant holding the palace push down as well. Fnatic with very aggressive positions on the say bomb site right now, and just looking for these early fights. It's been working out for them. Now they send one player into the ramp as well. Go around the back lines. And that bomb is running all the way back through spawn, but Crims so oh, nearly catches the play on the cross. I have one man advantage in play for Fnatic right now. He is looking good for them. But they could get a bomb plant, but JW's position from the apartments. He should be able to get Keto, but it comes down to the timing. He heard the footsteps. Luckily, we'll get that information and the kill picked up. Now 2v4, favoring Fnatic into this retake. Bomb goes down, but more than this, that would just be a miracle for Big. Not even the best positions here, really, for the post plant. One man in kitchen is okay, but Tabson's so low on health on the site. One shot is going to take him out of the round. Tabson, though, gets a spray onto the first player, buying a bit more time, and that time is ticking on the bomb. Fnatic have to speed this up. Flash comes in. Oh, Tabson finally falling, but Searson won't be able to land a shot. Important kills come through for Fnatic. It comes slightly close on the defuse, but they're fine. Flush has got it in the bag. 7-7. Seven, seven. This game is starting to heat up, Dinko. We're getting a much closer affair here, which is good to see. Yeah, I certainly so. I think Fnatic, there's a couple of rounds where they probably should have won and will be kicking themselves about it as well. But nonetheless, they're picking up a few towards the end of this half and could even come out ahead out of the defensive side. In fact, they are favored to do so when you take a look at what Big are able to bring to the server in this round. Another fun fact, the helping hands. Flusher and Tabson are both joint first for assists per round in 2020. Nice. Helping no, out the team. You definitely want a, a little more action there when it comes to the kills. You know, everybody's had one of those games where they're just getting constant assists, right? You just feel like you're not doing enough. You're not landing the headshots. But you're getting like three bullets off in the chest, Alex. They're always the most frustrating games. Yeah, man. I mean, look at... I mean, Zantaris in this game doesn't have a single assist. That's what you want. You just <laughs> want to be headshotting everyone with the AK. Yeah. Yeah. He walks Ooh. away with 13 kills. But this buy from Big ain't so bad. It's uh, right. got an AWP. It's got like a Leal. It's got a Mac-10 in two hands. So same smokes on B when they faked it previously. This time, though, they're going to fake oh. the fake. Tizian is pretending this is a B fake. And then it looks like they might end up going B. But with Keto getting that killer A... 
I don't even know what they're going to do now. They've just got all the kills they need. It doesn't matter what strat they're running. They're just winning every single fight. And that bomb is about to go down finally on the B site. Yeah, fantastic round from Big. This was a round they shouldn't have been favored to win. They obviously get enough weaponry to make it look competitive, but they come back into things. They keep fighting. And seriously, with the kills, and Taz closes it out. Big will lead in the first half. We head into the second after the break. First half, but Big still lead. It's just the one round in the lead this time. Fnatic probably would have liked a few more rounds out of that first half. I definitely feel like there were a few opportunities that they should have taken over the line. But nonetheless, seven rounds is still enough to work with as they head into their T side. It's a quicker play with most of the stance into this B bomb site. In fact, all five players leaning towards the apartments and a push coming through underpass. Ooh, Tizian thinks better of it. They're going to move back instead, and that means the B site is wide open. Santara is sitting back, hoping he can get an easier kill. Oh, that boost has been spotted. Big were hoping for a quicker play through short. Flusher denies that from happening, and Golden's got another kill with the Glock. Brolan playing up close. They might not be ready for this angle. He fights them early. Two players trapped, but oh, Brolan goes back for more. Golden trading again. It's fights all over the B-bomb site, but Golden is the man stepping up for Fnatic. The man on top of that round. Fnatic win the all-important pistol. And that's been a talking point with this Fnatic team recently. They've had some struggles at winning these pistol rounds and converting. So that's a good start to this second half. And Golden continues his fine form. That Golden doing a lot of work. He's 20 kills right now, 11 deaths. He's having a fantastic performance. Topping the server, topping the charts here on Mirage. Early utility usage coming in from Fnatic. Smoke up into the window. Forced by from Big. Could be enough to win this round, though. They have got a scout, a couple of deagles in play as well. You know what they can do when it comes to these force buys. You've seen it for both teams so far in this match. And look at the damage done on for two Fnatic early on. Crims is down to 43. Brolin's 47. Baker doing a good job of making a little go a whole long way, Alex. This is definitely looking good. Searson jumps up on top. Look how much damage is done on two Fnatic right now. These pistols, one bullet to the chest is going to be enough onto oh. most of these players. Tabson's on the flank as well. If they don't watch their backs here on the Fnatic side, there are so many low health players. Tabson could actually go massive. Oh my God, here we go. One kill for Tabson, but the Deegan accuracy strikes against him. Still doesn't matter though. All the kills coming in. What a round for Big. Every single kill, Dinko. They just dominate that round. They stack mid and they make that look way easier than it ever should have been for them. That was just kind of ridiculous. The utility was just perfect. It was sublime from Big, I have to say. Then the Deagles just lighting them up. Fnatic walking right into their crosshairs. And that's what I'm talking about. The ability from Big to do so much in those force buys. It's not just the crazy M, Alex. I have to say, it is the utility damage that allows those pistols to become so deadly in the final few seconds as well. So just an overall fantastic round out of Big. And a not so great round out of Fnatic, unfortunately for them. And they can try and recover with their own Deagles. Four of them in plate. The one Tech 9 in the hands of Brawlin. They've got Kevlar. It's the full force here. It's the full investment. Everything that Fnatic had has gone into this round. Pretty sure that was Habson's teammates flash behind him. Timing slightly off. And JW lands the Deagle headshot through the wall. Now he wants to get that gun and he's going to jump up into window to recover it. That's an AK into his hands. He backs away safely. Better opportunity for Fnatic to get something done in this round. That's another smoke on the backside of Connector though. Bigger really focused on holding towards this Connector position and Tizian is pushing through B again. They've got the information. Brawlin going up to the window. Seriously has a good angle right now. Just holding for that walkout. Kido has got one on two, Brawlin. Big ourselves. It's looking like a shutdown at this point. Bigger finding all of the kills. All the important jewels are going their way. Finally, JW and Golden fighting back. It is going to be a 1v2 round for Golden as he gets through the murder hole. He'll bring that bomb back. The waiting for him is down Taras. He's not a player you want to be waiting for you. 10 kills on the board. 4th Fnatic, or, or should I say 10 for Big on the board. 
And now double figures reached. It's looking real solid for them right now. Like, so it feels like big on another scenario like they were over on Inferno where they can just grab control of things, start racking up those rounds. Across the board, the individuals are just looking more solid for big. Fnatic have had a few players that have not really got into the series just yet. Definitely a couple of quieter performers for Fnatic. And in this round, we expect them all to be quiet, really. They've mainly just got Glocks. Deep molly down mid from Tabson. He's already taken fights. This aggression from Big on the CT side is, is just something that Fnatic has struggled so heavily at dealing with. Even in these last couple of rounds, Big have been able to push all the way through B and just get all the information they need. That's helping them be more prepared in these other positions. Mm -hmm. I think once we head into the first gun round, Fnatic might just have to hold a default to make sure that doesn't happen for them again. But in this one, there's not much for them to do, realistically. Now, this is just a formality at this point to play out the round, but Tabson has just been goofed up. We'll peek out and take one. Of course, he gets two kills still. Tizian with the apartment's aggression working it out for one. And now it's just Crims left alone with a Glock. And Tontaras will replace Tabson's position with an 11th round for Big. And now it will be the rifles out for Fnatic. The AK 47's being pulled out across the board. A decent amount of utility in play here for Fnatic as well. And for Big, it's the all out for Sirison. The AK for Zantaras. That's always scary when you're on the T side attacking Zantaras when he has an AK in his hands. So Fnatic this round, a lot of pressure on it. Tizian also gets an AK on that B site anchor position, which I think is really useful. The ability to get a really quick kill on B, an instant headshot, and then just try and survive, it, it can really help buy you just that little bit more time if you can get that kill quicker. I always like when you give those AKs over to those anchor players, and I like it when Searson is landing shots like that. Another opening kill for Searson. He's been pretty active in these early fights, and the AWP gives Big another early advantage. And unfortunately for Fnatic, as soon as they get the guns out, they have to fight from a man behind. Santaris with the headshot. JW, the victim. And now, while this looks like a locked in round for Big, that should be taking 12 on the board. No problem, unless Fnatic can pull something miraculous off coming into the A bomb site. Two players stuck just back in the ramp. Flusher jumping around in Palace trying to pull Keto in. He might just be able to do it, but Keto gladly walks into Palace, this time taking the headshot onto Flusher. And Fnatic are now just stuck in a two versus five. Crims with the headshot. At least one for Fnatic in the round, but that is all they will get. Just a single kill into a very important gun round. And that is not what you like to see. Crowd is still loving it, of course, Alex. Yeah, of course they are. Only some big fans in the crowd. I've got to say, Big are a team who I think are, are quite hard to play against when you're losing the opening fights as often as you are here. Because you don't really have any good backup options, right? If you try and go for maybe an execute or a faster play, Big's utility usage is normally great. It's normally going to deny you. This could work, but Searson just got two for one, and he gets a third on the mid hold. Oh man, Fnatic getting some early kills, getting some early fights. But it's not going to go their way. Searson's turned it round, and Flusher doesn't even have the bomb to work with. He has to fight big to get that bomb back. Getting the bomb back is a very tough task right now. And here's the jumping towards top middle. So that is some information for Flusher. The jumping is heard. And now he wants a little bit more as he goes back through T-spawn. You've got Searson holding with the AWP this corner. It's not going to be easy to get around for Flush. He needs to be aware of this, and he is so ready. Oh, but Searson still with the kill. Flush going down to the AWP, and it's big with 13. Three away from victory in the series and claiming themselves a fifth spot here at DreamHack Open 4. That lineup for Searson changes everything in the round. It makes the mid hold so much easier for Big. And at this point for Fnatic, I think maybe it is time to just go for a full-on execute towards the site. Your last gun round, you spread out in a default. You kind of got picked apart. You never really got the chance to execute any sort of game plan. 
I want Fnatic to have a clear goal in mind at the start of this round. And it looks like they might be listening to me, Dinko. They've already grouped up towards A. Now, Keto is pushed into a ramp, and Searson has just got that pick at mid. They just can't win these early fights against Searson, Dinko. He's been so good at getting those early picks. Keto stuck at the ramp. Brolin and JW around the corner. And Keto with one kill. JW able to find something on the AWP and still a man advantage for big. Still Fnatic have to face a large amount of adversity. And Searson, the timing isn't good to pull out the utility. He still spots the armor flusher and the timing on the shot through the smoke. The second time is perfect. Flusher falls and now it's just JW and Golden trying to make this A attack work against four. It's not looking likely. In fact, it's looking almost impossible. But with Golden on that quick headshot, gives him a slight chance. He's had enough. He wants to run forward. And Searson shuts him down alongside Tizian. There's 14 rounds for big. Two away from victory. And Fnatic just getting picked apart in the early round. Picked apart in the early rounds, but then when they actually get the smokes down and maybe have a chance to move onto the site, there's no real conviction. Look at how Searson gets that kill after the smokes have already faded. Yeah. I think at that point, Fnatic, you've used your nades on A, you've just got to commit to it, and maybe you could get the bomb down. Either way, they were behind, but here comes a faster play from Fnatic, trying to switch it up. Keto, under the wood, gets one kill onto JW. Well, now be looking for a little bit more as the T-side continue to push out. Taps him with a double. Can he get more? Of course he can. Three kills collected. And that was just Crims stuck on Tetris. Fnatic have been running at the same bomb site time and time again, hitting it over and over. And it's 15 now for big. Map and series points. Looking like the fifth place team so far. I have to say Fnatic haven't really shown us much over the last couple of maps. Tabson has, though, certainly has stepped up in this series. We were talking about how he's had a quiet tournament. This was a lovely round from him with the AK, shutting it down. And I've got to say for Fnatic, I was looking up the stats for them on this map ahead of this game. Some of these stats are ringing true. Out of all the top 20 teams, they have the lowest trade percent on Mirage. They're down there with low flash assists as well, that they just haven't been having a great time on this map. It's come through on the server today, and Big just one round away from victory, and just three kills away from victory. They're just fighting. They want this over right now. Yeah, this is looking done, but they have done a lot of damage onto Tabson and Santaras, and they have just pulled a kill back. Crims, 15 kills. Flusher on seven. We'll have a chance to make up for that, but Searson is quicker. Not quicker, but he did have a better gun. That does mean that Flusher will fall. And now it's just Crims left alone, securing victory as Zantaras and Big. Oh, your fifth place team here at DreamHack Open Fall, a team that had dominance in the summer, but here they have looked uh, a little shaky at times, but for the most part, a strong recovery and a